Hey people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with a luxury haul. And I have items that I have been collecting that span from a piece of ready to wear to shoes to accessories to handbags, etc. All right. Now I'm going to include in this haul also some more affordable luxury brands. So those that may not reach the price point of the OG, triple OG heritage houses, but still to many, many people are considered luxury, okay? I will not hold y'all. I know we want to get into the pieces. If you are down for a luxury haul, which is a bit of a special kind of video on this channel because I don't do very many, you've made it to the right place, my friend. Just keep watching. Let me just say before I even get started that I'm not sharing any of the prices, y'all, because my mom watches these videos and that I don't, I don't want that smoke. I'm not, I'm not gonna have it because nobody has bail money to get me out of mama jail. So in order to prevent that from happening, I give me free, okay? We're not gonna have a call about my retirement savings. We're just going to say that I have sold a bunch of items in my collection, okay? Uh, a number of items. I'll do an updated luxury um, handbag collection very soon. And because I sold some things to the real real, by the way, um, that means that I had room to do a bit of shopping. These are items that have not gotten their own video and I wanted to bring them all together in today's video. So let's start with the small accessories and make our way up from there. Let's start with sunglasses. And first up, is this pair from Saint Laurent. They have a clear frame. I think these come actually in two styles, but this pair has a clear frame. Inside the clear frame, at least on the arm, you see gold metal. And you have a gold band across the top. As you can see, the lenses are kind of a smoky brown in some ways. Not quite clear. Also, not quite UV protection. Just enough in the middle for you to give a nice quiet stunt, okay? To where you don't have to take them off when you get indoors. I loved these when I was in Miami at Ball Harbor Shops. I stopped by the Webster first. Um, at the Webster... I tried them on and I said, okay, let me think about it. It was the first place that I had gone. I didn't want to just all of a sudden buy the first thing that I saw. Made my way down to Saint Laurent. They have a beautiful shop at Ball Harbor, by the way. It's two levels, if I'm not mistaken. And when I went inside, met a wonderful sales associate. She was just so kind and so friendly. We stayed there for probably about a half hour, maybe longer, and we just chatted. And so this is one of two things that I got from her because sis was sweet and I wanted to definitely support her. As someone who used to work in luxury retail, I understand what it takes to make connections with people and when they are genuine, I just wanna give people my support. So I got these, these are new in. She tightened them for me, but they're still a little wide. So I need to take them to like a local um, eyeglass shop or maybe I can do it myself, I'm not sure. But either way, I wore these the entire time that I was in Miami after swim week and I am obsessed. The second item is not a pair of sunglasses, but it goes along with it. And y'all know I'm extra.com. Nobody asked me for this. It is unnecessary, okay? And again, I'm not gonna tell you the price because my mama watches these videos. This is a sunglass case by Goyard. The inside of it is a yellow suede. Um, you can also put eyeglasses in here. I'm at a big age and now I have to wear bifocals and I feel like this was a bit of kind of a prize to dampen the disrespect that the optometrist gave me when he told me that my eye muscles were failing and I needed bifocals and so you know, I had to just give myself something. 
so that I wouldn't fall in a deep depression is what I'm saying, okay? Um, I have been putting up my, well, any sunglasses, honestly, but uh, what fits perfectly are these Fendi Sunnies. Also, my glasses do fit in here in all sincerity. Um, they just simply slide right in. The lenses to the back of the case is the better fit. And it closes just like that. You'll see in just a minute why I went for this colorway. I cannot wait to do a whole video on Goyard. I did something similar uh, with Louis Vuitton and also Loewe where I share a bit of history uh, uh, behind the brand because I am now obsessed. I've always loved Goyard, but it's taken me some time to kind of get prepared financially to make that investment. And I have a bit of a collection that is brewing. And so this is the second piece in my sunglasses category that I'm very, very happy to have. Next up, let's go to shoes. And I have two pairs of shoes that are definitely going to be in that affordable luxury, luxury category. Um, one pair I actually mentioned to y'all. So in my last video, if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. I talked to you about summer trends and I said that metallic is a trend that I love. I'm a gold girl, as you can see. Um, and so uh, let's talk about the shoes that I have. But before I go there, let me just say that my name is Tashira of Politics and Fashion. If you are new around these parts, I make videos about style, self-care, social justice. I have a podcast called Justice with my best friend Margo. We are two reformed attorneys that I would love for you to also tune into. If you're new around these parts, girl, subscribe. Just go ahead and subscribe if you like the vibe. You made it to the middle of the video, so you might as well subscribe and be part of our tribe. Now let's go back to the shoes. As I hold them, I feel like they're giving space cadet. Is it just me? It's like a little me, George Jesse. <laughs> Jane, his wife, da, 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 da. daughter Judy. But I promise y'all they are so cute on. And they are a very, very deep gold, as you can see. So almost like that mix between bronze and a traditional gold where the gold is a super deep hue. Um, I actually saw a handbag that was in this shade when I was in New York that I, I can't get out of my head. It's living rent-free in my head. So we may have to see what we can do about that. But what I love is that they have this wedge. It's blunt square in the back. The toe box, put one down, is also square. I got them in a size 41. They are by Stodd, which is why I'm including them in this affordable luxury category. And they were on super, super sale. Unfortunately, final sale, but they do fit true to size, all right? I'm a US 10, 10 and a half, and so I usually go for a 41 or a 42, and this is an exact fit for me. Um, they were, I think, 170, maybe a little less, over at Saks. They came in less than three days. I didn't even do uh, expedited shipping. I just love Saks shipping, y'all. They have the best shipping. I don't care what the item is. If I can find it 10 other places, I am always going to buy from Saks because the shipping is so fast. Um, I love this kind of Wonder Woman. <laughs> what is this called in the front? I love how it has almost like a thong kind of flip-flop vibe to it, but it does have the heel. It has a simple buckle around the back. It's just a comfortable shoe that I actually am probably going to wear today. I am headed out, um, and I think this would be something cute to wear with this black Jacquemus, uh top that I have that is out in the back. Everything that I'm wearing, by the way, will be linked down below. So that is the first pair of shoes. If you saw my swim week vlog, then you saw this pair of shoes by Colt Gaia. Uh, these were on sale at the Colt Gaia Boutique at Miami Design District. I definitely wish they would have had the black in my size. They did not, but the pink provide a nice pop of color. I do wear so many neutrals. Um, I'm probably going to pull these out for New York uh, Fashion Week just because they are definitely, definitely a statement. Um, I am obsessed also, y'all, with the heel and how it has uh, this kind of round feature to it, which Colt Guy is definitely known for. 
So as you can see, they are a deep fuchsia. Um, and this piece here goes up as high or low as you want it around your ankle. It has two straps in the front. Also that square toe construction that has been trending for some time. Again, I got these in a size 41 as well. And I'm so happy that I actually had these because I wore these uh, during swim week on the night that I wore a black dress and I was going to wear a pair of stilettos, my little way they, um, mules and i said you know what those shoes are not the most comfortable i definitely want to put something on that i can stand in all night these are super duper comfortable and so i will link them in all the colors they are still available in down below because if you're looking for something that's just going to pop again i wore it with an all black dress if you're looking for something that's just going to pop this might be what you need and i think it comes in three colorways again it is on sale i don't know the name of them but they'll be linked I have one piece of ready to wear to include in the collective haul that I picked it up when I was also at Saint Laurent and Ball Harbor, and it is this. It is. Now, I have unboxed many of these things in my private community, so here is a quick plug for you to join the private tribe, okay, for exclusive content. But uh, when I showed the girls and the tribe this, everybody went up for it um, and gave me so many interesting ways to wear it. You may not be able to tell from here, but I will definitely include cutaways because it is this stretch sheer bra that has black YSL logos all over it may remember something very similar that was a true kind of bralette triangle shaped uh, that was black and sheer that had the uh, um, clear or silver crystals on it and while I like that it's a little bit too kind of bling bling for me I know I'm extra so that's saying a lot but you all know that I also just love things to be a little bit muted as well um and so I feel like this is something I will get a lot more wear out of I do plan to wear it underneath my uh sheer YSL dress it is a runway piece I mentioned to you all in my last video I likely will also wear it under a blazer with a pair of, ooh, with a pair of denim and a, and a nasty heel. My silver Zimmerman heels. Girl, please. Can't wait. I cannot wait. It's something that is so simple that I feel like it's just going to be one of my most worn pieces, especially when I want to just kind of stand out in a lot of ways. Um, Y'all know, I think it's the era of Renaissance that everything that is bedazzled and shiny and glittery is trending. <laughs> Um, and I'm here for it, but definitely in my own way. And I think this YSL bralette does the trick. Let's get into bags. These are two affordable luxury pieces by Brahmin. Um, many of us have had our time with Brahmin because I have been mentioning these pieces, y'all, in either Reels or YouTube Shorts or even over on TikTok. Make sure you're following me on social media at Politics and Fashion. Um, and y'all have been like, oh my God, my first luxury bag was Brahmin or I, I've always loved Brahmin or I didn't know Brahmin had those great pieces. So I feel like it is a nostalgic brand uh, that is still doing its thing and I'm happy to be on their PR list and put some pieces back in front of you all. The first thing I have almost worn to death, I mean you've seen this on social media I'm sure by now, but it is this belt bag by Brahmin. And my favorite way to wear a belt bag y'all is across my chest. You can shorten the strap so that it also fits around your waist but I feel like there's something really cool about having that pop of gold hardware the gold buckle here the gold zipper the gold brahmin kind of around your chest and it fits perfectly there as well brahmin as you all know is known for it's um, croc embossed leather. So this is a 100% leather piece and it has the um, crocodile effect leather. If you are someone who has been thinking about the Louis Vuitton belt bag in black or really in any color, this I think is a great alternative. I wouldn't necessarily call it a dupe because they don't look similar. However, it is one of those things where you can find something that has great construction, is, is very well made and is an elevated silhouette like the L v1 at a fraction of the price this actually i think was on sale at one point i'll make sure it's linked down below because it's such an easy way to kind of go out and about to travel to run 
your errands and to look really intentional about your outfit when you really didn't even do a whole lot. The other Brahmin piece has definitely set the internet ablaze, especially on TikTok. And it is this Brahmin kind of burlap bag. It's not quite straw, it's more of a burlap weave. And as you can see, let me get the camera to focus. What I actually love is the raised Brahmin that's embroidered and it says established in 1982 which coincidentally is also when I was established okay <laughs> um it has and this is what I think sets it apart from many other bags like this for the summer is that it has these handles and also the trimming is in the classic Brahmin leather and it is so hard to find something that is in this material that is also um, trimmed in leather, right? I think a lot of times brands tend to go the cheap route and they just kind of make everything out of a softer fabric or something that is woven instead of finding ways to structure the bag and adding leather always does that. Also on the bottom, girl, it has feet. And leather. And the leather trim goes up slightly on the side. I mean, this is such a good bag until oftentimes bags like this, I think, can singularly scream beach or vacation. But for me, this is a piece that I could wear day to day. Um, the inside has a little strap here. This would be great to hold your keys. And it is just empty there so you can put any and everything i traveled with this y'all and i would put actually my handbag laptop all of the things that i would need inside of it it is the perfect size perfect for travel perfect for summer this i know is definitely on sale and this type of bag i think it's called the brooklyn tote by brahmin comes in um two other kind of styles outside of the one that I have with this raised Brahmin in the middle. I will link all of them down below because I think they just hit this one out of the park, y'all. And I told y'all that I had been having a Goyard obsession. Um, it's bad, y'all. Come check me. I got the Goyard fever. It is bad. <laughs> and I think it came from not only do I love the kind of DNA of the house, but also... I have had a vision for many years, if you go back to my um, older luxury wish list, of having like LV travel accessories. And over time, while I still love LV tremendously, I've decided that Goryard might be the better route for me because things come in different colorways, which I also love. And so we're back to Goyard for these last two pieces. Uh, this is something that you all have likely not seen that I grabbed also in Miami at Ball Harbor. I went to Ball Harbor thinking, okay, today's the day that I'm going to treat myself for some travel accessories. I was not only in Miami, but then taking two other trips afterwards. And so I just wanted to kind of elevate the things that I had. And I thought I was going to get the classic kind of toiletry pouch, the one that many people wear as a clutch or maybe a smaller little accessory bag. And I actually looked around and I said, oh, wow, what's this thing? <clears throat> And sales associate pulled it out the case and said, oh, this is brand new. And when we talked about it, I realized that if I wanted to wear it as a clutch outside of putting toiletries in it for travel, it was perfect for that because it also has this strap here. Um, so the great part about it is while this part is canvas, of course, that is what Goyard is known for. Uh, you have the Goyard here outside of the classic colorway. You also have it trimmed in leather leather components on the side. I don't know that the other toiletry bags have that. They may be all canvas. Again, the strap is leather, and then the zipper on the inside has the Goyard G. Let me open it up for you. It holds quite a bit, y'all. So, I am heading to Richmond in a couple weeks for a concert, to be honest with you. These are the kind of travel accessories that for me you can't beat because once I get there and I have, um, not an insert, but I just use the dust bag to actually put my toiletries in, I take the dust bag out, put it in the bathroom, put it on the nightstand wherever in the hotel, and then I have an extra bag. Can't beat it with a stick, like it's 
genius okay <laughs> um for folks who may be interested because i know goryard does not do prices on the website i will include prices in my goryard review but just know that this was around the same price as other items that are that are similarly sized to this also to lb pieces that are in this um kind of size and toiletry bag family and so it kind of is right within that cost and that's exceptional being that Goyard can be so much more expensive than a lot of other heritage houses and so I uh, loved this while I was traveling for the rest of my trips and again I have gotten wear out of it not just for that purpose while traveling but day to day as a clutch. And my last piece, I actually mentioned in a vlog, but I know everyone doesn't watch vlogs, so we had to give her some shine here. It is the only bag that was on my 2023 wish list, and I'm so happy I was able to get this from the Goyard Boutique in New York. I did not know I was going to come out with this color, but I had my eye on this bag, and it is this one here. She is the Goyard Vendome bag. She's very similar in style to the LV Alma bag. So another comparison to LV, two houses that I love. Um, I decided to get her in gray because I've never had a gray bag, luxury or not. And I think gray is a great neutral to go with black, as you can see. Also, it's light enough to be a very like kind of fresh pop over the summer, although she's definitely going to be worn year round. You all know that I love gold. Old, and so I don't have very many bags with silver accessories, but the silver here is so minimal. I feel like it still works. It does have two D rings for a crossbody strap. I left that in the store because it was four hundred dollars, and I said I've I've got to respect myself. Y'all have gotten enough of my money today. Uh, I put that money actually towards a scarf, which I have worn a whole whole lot, y'all. Why did I include the scarf in this video? I'll put it here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I saw both of these pieces at Bergdorf in uh, New York. So this style bag and this scarf at Bergdorf in New York during Fashion Week in February. Have been looking at them really since that previous July when I was on a trip to New York with my best friend. I got an agenda cover instead to celebrate a big milestone for myself, tipping my toe into the Goyard um, kind of waters and uh, took almost a year before I was prepared to actually get the bag and that's something I think is really important y'all I don't do a lot of hauls luxury hauls especially because I don't want to give a false impression that this is just how I live my life you know I'm, I'm not a, a the, the black lost member of the Roy family from succession okay um they would kick me out anyway because I don't do quiet luxury I like to be loud but what I do believe in is shopping with intention and conscious consumption. And so she had quite a wait before she came into my collection. I'm so happy that I have her. Uh, I will get into all the details in my next video. But on the bottom, let me get it to focus, um, is Goyard. It's kind of um, embossed into the leather. Be the small things for me. Because also get into the G's here hold up get it to focus that are on the zipper we have some little pieces of wood and then on the inside it is simply that classic goyard yellow and it has one small pocket in the back it does not, y'all, fit a full-size wallet. And so what I have been carrying is my Brahmin wallet. If you are looking for a smaller size wallet, this one is a great option because it does open up to hold cash and it has quite a few card slots as well as change in the back. So this fits in here perfectly, y'all, as well as every other day-to-day -day accessory, including, obviously, tag team back again, check it, direct it. So let's begin, girl. Going to put that in there. Okay, put that in there. Um, as well as anything else that you need, obviously. Day to day, this is the perfect size for me. Y'all know I love small bags anyway. And so for me, this is probably more of like a, I don't say a large bag, 
but I don't consider it to be small either because it is much larger than the micro bags that I have in my collection. Um, I feel like when I travel to Greece, God willing, coming up very soon, I am probably going to want to take this bag, um, but I don't want to have an exclusively top handle bag. So at that time, we'll see what I plan on doing for a strap. If you all know any companies that make great leather straps, please, please let me know because the Goyard strap is literally just a piece of gray leather and I don't feel like that needs to be Goyard. I want it to be something well made that obviously lasts if it can, um, but I also don't feel the need to pay four or $500 for a thin strap of leather that's not a belt. Um, that's just a bag strap, um, especially because when I'm not traveling, I prefer a top handle moment anyway. I just think it looks a little bit more sophisticated. And so, again, if you want to know more about the bag or the Goyard pieces, because Goyard does not have any e-commerce, they will be in a separate video. So stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. And that is it, my friends. Those are all of my pieces that I have been collecting over the past few months. Many thanks to Brahmin for putting me on their PR list. Hopefully, I will have more Brahmin pieces to come because I have just fallen even more deeply in love with the brand. Um, and now, let me go hit the pole. I ain't even go. I gotta do something strange for some change. Okay, we gotta stack the money back up in the in the account okay because we've been we've been shopping um uh, in the meantime make sure you are following me all over the interweb and i will see you good people cross the internet peace